Welcome to a Boston by Foot short video. And what we're going to discuss today is Henry Knox and his role at the Siege of Boston and the fortification of Dorchester Heights. In late 1775, Henry Knox and his younger brother William were ordered by General George Washington to go to Fort Ticonderoga. Fort Ticonderoga was recently recaptured by Benedict Arnold, Ethan Allen, and the Green Mountain Boys, and the fort had a surplus of artillery. That artillery was desperately needed by the Continental Army out here in the Boston area. So having arrived at Fort Ticonderoga in December of 1775, they acquired 59 guns. With those 59 guns, they got a hold of a lot of men, a lot of rope, oxen, sleds, and horses, and made their way 300 miles to Cambridge, Massachusetts. Once at Cambridge, Massachusetts, those cannons and the men made their way to Dorchester Heights. Now at the time, the British occupied Boston and Dorchester Heights surrounded them. So with the cannons and the Continental Army surrounding the British on Dorchester Heights, the British evacuated Boston on March 17th, 1776. So hold on right there, and we're gonna go on a short road trip. So our field trip finds us here. This is one of the 43 site markers starting at Fort Ticonderoga, designating the 300 mile route Henry Knox and the 59 cannons took. This particular marker is located on the Wayland side of the Sudbury River. You are at the right spot when you can see this historical old stone bridge. Just remember, Henry Knox slept here.